WorldEdit is a super amazing tool that is going to save you a load of time, so I super recommend learning it. It's very easy, so just stick around. Before we get started, I want you to do one thing quick. Press F3 and H at the same time. If you did it right, you should get this little thing in the corner, and now your inventory screen will show all the block IDs, and this is going to come really in handy later, trust me. The first command you should know is slash slash wand, and this is going to give you a wooden axe, and this is going to be how we select the points for the regions we create. You're going to use the wand to pick two positions. So the first one, you're going to use the left click to click that, to get your first position, and then right click to get your second position. And I want you to imagine that you're making this imaginary box and you're selecting each corner, each opposite corner of the box, and that makes the region. Another way you can select positions is by using the command slash slash pause one and slash slash pause two. And that'll do the same thing as selecting the regions with the wand, but you can just fly around and pick them wherever you want. The first real command I want to show you is slash slash set. So let's select a new region, one, two, and I'm going to type slash slash set, and then I'm going to just start with stone. And so whatever block you type after slash slash set is what it will set the region to. See? Stone. Now let's do it again. Uh, slash slash set cobblestone. See? You can also set it to multiple different blocks in the same region. So you can also do slash slash set stone comma cobblestone. And that'll make a mix of the blocks. And then let's say I want more stone than cobblestone in it. I can do slash slash set 75% stone and then 25% cobblestone. And now there's less cobblestone, more stone. You can do this with any command. The next command you should know is slash slash cut. So if we do that, what that's going to do is just delete everything in the region. All right. But what if you made a mistake and you didn't actually want to do that? Well, you can do slash slash undo and then it'll be back. And then you're like, eh, actually, nah, go away again. You can do slash slash redo and then it'll be gone again. And you can also undo multiple things at once. So I can do slash slash undo three and that'll do undo all three of these things I just did. Gone. And then you can also do slash slash redo three and then they're back. You can also do slash slash undo two, and then it'll only get rid of the past two. The next command I want to show you is the replace command. And what this is going to do is replace only specific blocks that you request. So let's say I want to get rid of these ugly birch planks and replace them with some nice spruce planks. I'm going to get the block ID from the inventory screen. So this is spruce underscore planks, birch underscore planks. I'm going to select the region get the pause one. I'm going to type slash slash pause two here. And that should cover the whole house. And I'm going to type slash slash replace birch planks space spruce planks. Ah, isn't that much better? The next command I'm going to show you is copy and paste. So we can copy things and then paste them around different places. And the thing to remember when uh, copying is that it copies in relation to where you're standing when you copy it. So if I'm standing like five blocks away now and I type slash slash copy and I fly over here, slash slash paste, it's going to also paste it five blocks away. So I'm going to undo that. Then I'm going to fly back over here and then I'm going to copy it right by the pole and then fly over here again and do slash slash paste and then paste it right by the pole where I was standing when I copied it. See how, how, see how that works? So there's a few more things we can do with the copy command. So if we come over here, copy it again, it was already in our clipboard, but I'm just copying it again for good measure. So if we do slash slash rotate 90, it'll, uh, it'll rotate it in a clockwise fashion. So if we do paste now, now it's facing this way. We can also do rotate 90 again, slash slash paste. Now it's there, slash slash rotate 90 again, slash slash paste, now it's this way. And then if we do it again, it'll come full circle. See, undo all those. And now here's an extra little tip. So if we do rotate again, 90, and I, so I wanna make this face on this side so I don't have to rebuild it. So I'm gonna do it, paste here, 
but problem is it deleted um, part of the house and that's because it's also pasting the error that you had selected so undo that and then I'm going to go back here again, slash slash paste minus A. And that's going to paste it, but without the air. So now you can do that. And now I'm going to come over here, rotate 90, slash slash paste minus A. And there we go. See, now you can just keep rotating it and pasting it. And it's like building itself. Here's another neat command. So if I come over here, pause one up here, pause 2, and then I'm going to copy this, slash slash copy, and then I'm going to use slash slash flip, and it's going to flip it in whatever direction you're looking at. So I'm going to paste this now, and it pastes behind me because I, I copied it in front of the door, so, and now it made a mirrored version of it, and it pasted it in a flipped way. And you can also do it looking up at the sky. Flip, slash, slash, paste. And so now, oh, undo. Fly up, slash, slash, paste. I don't really know why you'd want to do this, but uh, you can. And the last command I want to show you is the stack command. So if we come over here, select this block for both one and two pauses, and we do slash, slash, stack, 10. It'll stack it 10 blocks after this block so it's actually 11 long right now and something cool you could do with this command is let's say you have a section of wall and you could select the region copy it paste it um, and just keep doing that but there's actually a quicker way so if we use stack slash slash stack 10 boom look at that that just saved you so much time, and th this this mod is just fantastic, and I recommend anyone who can use it to use it. Another good use for the stack command is on roofs. So if you don't feel like building the whole roof, you can just do that, slash slash stack 10, boom, builds your roof for you. I hate building roofs, and this saves you so much time as well. And that's all the world edit basics. Um, if there's a whole bunch more commands, they're just not used very much. So if we do world edit help, you can see that there's a huge list of commands to look through, but they're not all used very much. I gave you all the most used beginner uh, commands that you're going to be using most often. And if you're like, uh, I don't know how to get it or uh, it's installing it sounds hard or it just in intimidates you in some way, that's all right, you don't need to. I have a public server where you, anyone can come and join. You can have unlimited plots of land and everyone has access to world edit because I want you to make some cool stuff. So hope you join. Server IP is mc.jankworld.com. Hope I see you on there.